What's up guys? It's Microbate Beth here. I am heading to another swamp meet. This time we're going to some county fairgrounds close to Akron, Ohio. So eh, about a two hour-ish drive from central Ohio. I got my partner in crime as usual, Jeffrey, with me and we're looking for iron head parts. I need, need, need to get more parts for this build. I'm really excited to take you guys along as always. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do that now. Give it a subscription. Also like this video. Comment down below what you think I'm trying to snag from this, from this swap meet. Thank you so much to everybody that helped get me to 5K that just happened recently, so you guys rock. We will have a live stream for that very soon, so Stay tuned, hit the notification bell so you can know when I end up having that live stream event. Awesome guys, I will see you at the Swami. swap me holy crap uh i feel like 
There was just so much to see. We took as much time as we could. I got a few items that I wanted to snag. One thing that was really important for the iron head we got, so not a whole lot of parts snagged, but if anything, my game plan is to just put those parts on. Show you guys, add it to the end of uh, this video. Hey, what's up guys? We are now in my garage. <sighs> Holy crap, that was, that was the biggest swap meet I've ever been to. That was huge. And yet, I only left with three items. That's okay, that's fine. I was looking for iron head parts. I almost bought some clothing and stuff. I don't need that junk. I did get one thing for the iron head, so don't yell at me. I, I, I focused and I got one item off my checklist, which is these little, little babies. Look at these bar risers. I, I was talking to a gentleman and I was like, what's the shortest bar risers you have? And he was a pretty big stand. So these are Milwaukee, USA. I think they'll do the job. I just needed some decent bar risers. I'm gonna still need some bushings and everything for them because they're shot on the iron head. But I haven't decided if I'm gonna do rubber or um, steel bushings, but we'll cross that road when we get there. One thing I did notice on these, buyer beware when you're at swap meets, it does need one of these bolts replaced because it is rounded out. You know, I might get some fancier hardware for it, something like gold, I don't know, <laughs> maybe, we'll see. And then I did get something for my ever expanding patch jacket, which as soon as Jeff saw this, he was like, oh Beth, you have to get it. So I snagged this biker babe patch. It's gonna go on my patch jacket. And then last but not least, the most exciting thing, I really am excited about this. I got some Vans Cult grips. And I thought, why not finish out this swap meet video with you guys watching me struggle to take off my OEM grips. I have an air compressor. I have tools with me. I am not replacing the throttle tube. So I'm using the old throttle tube. You don't have to worry too much when you have sharp things to help you. I don't plan on keeping or reselling these grips, so if they give me a hard time, a little box cutter is gonna come out to play. So let's put on these new grips that I got. Hopefully they're not too difficult. I put some silicone lubricant spray between before I started this video to kind of let them work its magic, but I doubt that's gonna do much for me. I know I'm gonna struggle, so yay. As some of you may know, I do ride BMX and these van grips are usually what I have on my BMX bikes too. I love the feel of these rubber grips. I wear van shoes like crazy, so those are my go-tos if I'm not wearing my red wings. I think Odessa's gonna be kind of a purple and white motorcycle. I think that's the theme I'm gonna go with with her because I have my logo, my Instagram tag on the other side that I put on in a previous video is purple and we're gonna put on these purple grips to match. So wish me luck. This shouldn't be too difficult. Let's do it. Davidson glued on the OEM grip to the throttle tube.
Job well done to me. I didn't get another throttle tube. Probably looking back at all the work I just did, um, probably should have gotten a new throttle tube, but oh well. I did it the lazy redneck Ohio way. I think they look good. You yep, know, real nice and squishy. I think they look great. It is the beginning of my white and purple Odessa adventures. We're gonna keep getting more stuff for her. It's gonna be black, white, and purple. So thanks so much for coming along with us to this Akron swap meet, watching me struggle to put on some new grips real fast. I really appreciate you guys watching all of these videos that I've been creating. Seems like you guys like me going to swap meet, so I'll keep doing that if you keep watching them. Please like this video if you haven't yet. Also, if you're not a subscriber, why the heck not? Go ahead and do that right now. It's free. Helps your girl out. Once again, this is Biker Bay Beth. Look out for more swap meet videos to come. I'm gonna go to as many as I can until that iron head is built. But once I get that stimulus check, who baby? <laughs> Those big Biden bucks. I'm gonna be uh, spending it 100% on the iron head. Very excited to build a chopper for all of you guys to watch. Hey, Ohio's kind of got that fall spring feeling starting, so there might be some days where I can actually get out moto vlog for you guys, so those videos might come before more Ironhead work. Who knows, it's Ohio. Stay tuned, we'll see. Thanks so much, guys. Until the next video, peace out.